Welcome to episode 10 of the Perrysburg Podcast. I'm your host, Kim Newlove. This is an informational podcast for prospective, new, and current Perrysburg, Ohio residents. We talk about what's in Perrysburg and why people like to live here. I like to keep the episodes short, hopefully under 10 minutes. Our topic today is Woodlands Park. Let's go. Woodlands Park is one of the larger parks in Perrysburg. It's very popular and it has a lot to offer. Since it has so much to offer, I thought I'd take some pictures and short videos, combine it with the audio from this episode, and make a YouTube video. So you can check out the YouTube video for this episode at my YouTube channel. You can find that at youtube.com forward slash at symbol Perrysburg podcast. And you can find the show notes for this episode at perrysburgpodcast.com. That's perrysburgpodcast.com. If you can't figure out where the YouTube channel is, just check the show notes on perrysburgpodcast.com. Basic information first. Let's say you're a prospective Perrysburg resident. You don't live here yet, but you're planning a visit. You need an address to plug into your GPS. Woodlands Park is located at 429 East Boundary Street, Perrysburg, Ohio, 43551. The road to the park is marked Kip Bolus Drive. First word Kip, K-I-P, second word Bolus, B-O-U-L-I-S, Bolus, third word is Drive, Kip Bolus Drive. Usually, there is plenty of parking available at the end of Kip Bolus Drive. That's the main parking lot. However, as you enter the park, you will see a little sign telling you that additional parking is available on the southeast side of the park. As a local, I take that to mean that if the parking lot is full, you can also park near the picnic pavilion. Now, if you're thinking, whoa, I've never been to Perrysburg, where is this picnic pavilion? It's no problem. It's just near Woodlands Elementary School. So just turn your car around, take Kip Bolus Drive back to East Boundary Street when you get to the stop sign. Turn right. You will then be on East Boundary Street. Then turn right again. You'll be on Indiana Avenue, which we also call 795 because it's State Route 795. Take the first right off of Indiana Avenue, just past the park, and follow the lane until you see a parking lot next to a hexagonal-shaped picnic pavilion. You found it. Now you know two places to park. And by the way, the picnic pavilion is really close to Woodlands Elementary School. So if you see an elementary school in front of you as you drive down that lane, you're in the right place. Let's get started. I'll list the features of the park first, then I'll take a deeper dive into each one of those features. Here's the list. Number one, an American flag retirement box and a sign featuring the names of Perrysburg's Eagle Scouts. Number two, Fort Imagination. Number three, the Sculpture Walk. Number four, an 18-hole disc golf course, also known as a Frisbee golf course. Number five, a one-mile walking path. Number six, a shelter house. Number seven, a little free library. Number eight, a picnic pavilion. And number nine, a wooden information stand. Let's talk about each of those features. Number one, where Kip Bolus Drive ends in the parking lot, there's a flagpole with an American flag. In this same area, you're going to find an American flag retirement box, and also you're going to find a sign with the names of some Perrysburg Eagle Scouts. First of all, the American flag retirement box. Just so you know, it was placed there as an Eagle Scout project, and it was sponsored by local businesses. American Legion Post 28, right here in Perrysburg, disposes of the retired flags. You don't have to notify them, just drop off your flag, and they will take care of the rest in a timely manner. I appreciate that box personally because I have actually retired at least one flag there. Thank you to the Scouts and the American Legion. I appreciate that box and that service that you provide. Now, the last feature in this area of the park is a sign featuring the name of Perrysburg's Eagle Scouts. You can't miss it. All three are grouped right there together in the parking lot, the flagpole, the American flag retirement box, and the Eagle Scout sign. Up next is feature number two, Fort Imagination. 
Fort Imagination is two playgrounds in the same area, the same fenced-in area. One playground is for children ages 2 to 5, and the other one is for children ages 5 to 12. There's all the usual things, swings, slides, things to climb, and open space to run in, but there are also bench seats, a drinking fountain, and a shade structure that has picnic tables underneath. When I was new to Perrysburg in 2007, there was a different playground than there is now. It, this Ford Imagination just got a facelift and update here in 2023. But when I moved here in 2007, it was still an awesome playground. I, when I first moved here, we had boys ages two and four. Craig was four, Derek was two, and this playground was our number one favorite in Perrysburg. Second favorite was Rivercrest Park, but Woodlands Park, Fort Imagination was number one. And by the way, thank you to everyone in our community here in Perrysburg who built this awesome playground. It was awesome in 2007, but I really think it's even better here in 2023. And one reason why is that there's more inclusive playground equipment. That means that there's something for children of all abilities. Let's talk about the Sculpture Walk next. That is feature three of Woodlands Park, the Sculpture Walk. As I record this in September of 2023, there are 15 sculptures at Woodlands Park. When I moved to Perrysburg back in 2007, the Sculpture Walk wasn't here. It is a lovely feature, and I appreciate looking at the sculptures as I walk around the one-mile track around the park. But it was not here in 2007. This park has grown. My kids are no longer attracted to the playground. One of them's off at college. The other one's in high school. We just go there to walk. But it's cool to know that through the years, there are still things that bring me back to Woodlands Park. We go there for the exercise now and the sculptures. You may be wondering, where are these sculptures located? Some of them are located around the perimeter of the park on East Boundary Street. Others are located along Kip Bolas Drive. Pictures of all 15 of the sculptures are in the YouTube video, which you can find at youtube.com forward slash at symbol Perrysburg podcast. If you can't find that, just look in the show notes on perrysburgpodcast.com. Click on the link for the YouTube video. Now, the sculptures are numbered, and they are numbered 1 through 16, but heads up, there is no sculpture number 14 at this time. So that's why the numbers go all the way up to 16, but there are only 15 sculptures. Now, here's a list of the sculptures and the last name of the artist. I'll go through these pretty quickly, and I apologize in advance if I butcher any names. Let's go with number one, Going Green by Howard Dash Potter. Number two, Blue Dogs by Chatterley. Number three, Drop by Bannon. Number four, King of Hearts by Fisher. Number five, Harp by Sohikian. Number six, When a Man's an Empty Kettle by Arvanetis. Number seven, Questions by Garcia. Number eight, Fleur et Pois by Reithmeyer. Number nine, Around the Gate by Katz. Number 10, My Pie by Aducci. Number 11, Mahatma Gandhi by Havens. Number 12, Palette by Sohikian. Number 13, Lupin by Reithmeyer. Number 14, again, does not exist. Number 15 is Metamorphosis by Sohikian. And finally, number 16 is Oak Leaf Arch Number 2 by Gallucci. That does it for the sculpture walk. Now, on to the disc golf course. Feature number 4 of Woodlands Park is an 18-hole disc golf course. Yes, you heard me right, disc golf course. Disc golf, by the way, it's growing in popularity. It is also known as frisbee golf. If you don't have a disc golf set, the Way Public Library right here in town, just down the street at 101 East Indiana Avenue in historic downtown Perrysburg, loans disc golf sets to anyone with a valid library card. Check that out if you need a set. Now, if you've never heard of disc golf, I hadn't either, so that's okay. 
there's a first time for everything. Come on out and try it out. It is fun and you might like it. I know I do. My family likes it. Now, if you're familiar with regular golf, you know, with the golf club and the balls and all that, it's very similar. Instead of having the clubs and the balls, there are frisbees. And instead of having a grass tee off area, there are small rectangular concrete slabs to mark the start of each of the 18 holes. And yes, they're called holes, even though they are above ground and they are metal. Instead of hearing a golf ball clink into the cup, you know that sound, you'll hear something that sounds more like a, a hard frisbee hitting a chain link fence. It's different, but it's also fun. Often when I'm at the park, I see teenagers, college students, and families with young children all using the disc golf course. Again, there's an 18-hole disc golf course at Woodlands Park. On to the next feature. Feature number five at Woodlands Park is a one-mile walking path. It has a crushed gravel texture. The path is crushed gravel, and there is a tree tour along the path with tree identification signage and QR codes for tree information. If you've ever been to the park, you will notice that by some of the trees, there are little signs at the base of the tree. Go ahead and scan that and get some information. Also, and this isn't really part of the tree tour, but you'll also notice that there are at least three apple trees near the shelter house. Anyone is welcome to pick the apples and take them home. I think there's only three trees, and every time I go there, all of the apples are near the top. Also, along the walking path, you'll see some picnic tables, a lacrosse field, Grace United Methodist Church, and PCU Food Pantry. That's Perrysburg Christians United Food Pantry. You'll see Renewed Outdoors. That's a business that has mulch and pumpkins this time of the year in September. And there's also a cemetery across the street. And there is a lot of open grassy space right in the center of the park. Again, feature number five is a one mile crushed gravel walking path. Next up is feature number six, the shelter house. The shelter house at Woodlands Park is a fairly large shelter house, but it also has an outdoor fireplace. How many shelter houses have an outdoor fireplace? Not many. There's also a charcoal grill, 10 picnic tables and bathrooms. If you're a Perrysburg resident and you want to rent the shelter house for a birthday party, a gathering, whatever, family reunion, RSVP to the Perrysburg Department of Public Service. I'll put the phone number in the show notes. Now, if you don't want to reserve it, you can take your chances and just walk up and try to use it. However, if you need it, I do recommend that you reserve it. Reserving it is fairly easy. And last time I reserved a shelter house, I believe it was $75. So check with the City of Perrysburg Department of Public Service. Again, the phone number will be in the show notes. One last thing about the shelter house. In the summer, there's a lunchtime concert series. As I record this in late September of 2023, the lunchtime concert series is over for the year. It ran from the first Wednesday in June until the first Wednesday in September. And the time that it was going on was noon to 1 p.m. So 12 to 1 p.m. on Wednesdays in the summer. I have a picture in the YouTube video of an advertisement for the series, and it also lists the, the bands that were scheduled to play. So again, there's an advertisement in the YouTube video. If you want to check that out, it had some information about the bands that were scheduled to play. All right, let's move on to feature number seven. Feature number seven at Woodlands Park is a little free library. Have you ever seen a little free library? They're very cute. It looks like a, a big mailbox, actually, that has a little roof on top and a little glass door in the front. Visitors can just walk on up and either donate a book or pick a free one out of the box and take it home. You never know what you're going to find there in the little free library. And I personally always like to peek in and look and see what people are dropping off. Next up is feature number eight, the Picnic Pavilion. The Picnic Pavilion is near Woodlands Elementary School. If you want to use the pavilion and you have a lot of stuff to unload, go ahead and park off of Indiana Avenue. Take the lane that goes back towards Woodlands Elementary School and park there. 
The City of Perrysburg's website says that there are 14 picnic tables inside. It is available on a first-come, first-served basis. Reservations are not required. It's not possible to reserve this one. So if you want to use it, it's on a first-come, first-served basis. And you can't miss it. The shape is unique. I believe it has a hexagonal concrete base. So if you think of the hexagon shape, that is the shape of the base, the concrete pad right there underneath, and there's a similar shaped roof. Check it out. It is rather unique. The Picnic Pavilion at Woodlands Park is featured number eight. Ninth and finally is a simple wooden information stand with general park information, park features, rules, information about the Wi-Fi that's available for free inside the park, and so on. You'll find this wooden information stand located between the shelter house and the parking lot that is at the end of Kip Bolas Drive. Again, the ninth and final feature of Woodlands Park is a wooden information stand. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Woodlands Park today. That ends the list of nine features of Woodlands Park. If you're a prospective or new Perrysburg resident or you're just visiting, this episode was for you. If you're a current Perrysburg resident, you already know that Woodlands Park is awesome. So get out there, see the fall colors, the trees, the leaves are already starting to turn. Enjoy the park. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for joining me for episode 10 of the Perrysburg Podcast. Please visit perrysburgpodcast.com to read the show notes. In the show notes, you'll find links to the City of Perrysburg's website, Way Public Library, the Department of Public Service phone number in case you want to RSVP the shelter house there at Woodlands Park. You'll also find the link to the YouTube channel for the Perrysburg podcast and more. Check out those show notes. And if you know someone who's interested in moving to Perrysburg or is new here, please share this episode with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Perrysburg podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Thanks for listening today. I'll talk to you next week.